My name is Sarah O'Donnell. I am from Philadelphia, and I've been here from April 2nd to June 24th of 2014. My practice is kind of a exploratory one, I think. Um, I work with a lot of different mediums, so photography, installation, video, um, a lot of light-based and projection work. Um, and it's largely, I think, often responding to spaces and sort of feeling my way through ideas, um, either responding to what the medium can do or what the space can do. It started with the title, which was No Man is an Island, Lost at Sea. Um, and that was something that I had imagined to be describing this shipwreck that is both it's a place and then it's also kind of an isolated event. Um, I wanted to take an existing sailboat and cut it at a pretty extreme angle so that it would be sort of uh, leaning off to one side, treating the floor as if it's the water line, um, and really kind of creating like a, a shipwreck within an interior space. And was so excited to be able to actually make the project that I'd proposed, um, which did take a lot of legwork. It was like locating a boat in Nebraska, um, finding someone who's willing to donate, you know, a pretty good sized boat to me to put a huge hole in it was, <laughs> I, I think, kind of asking a lot, but um, I was actually pretty stunned by the generosity of people here and ended up with three different boats to choose from, uh, which was pretty exciting. So it was really, I mean, to be able to actually make this thing that I had been thinking about for well over a year and see it come to life is a pretty amazing feeling. Um, but a lot of work went into the process of like, you know, trying to figure out how to go about it. I had never done anything like that before. Second project that I did here was the house. Um, and that was a project that I was not expecting to do at all. It was, I think, maybe the nice bonus of building the boat, finishing that project, and the whole thing actually going a lot quicker than I had expected. And so the house came about somewhat slowly. I think it revealed itself to me. Um, I had seen, when I was in Utah last winter, this small valley just outside of Provo, uh, that had experienced a mudslide, I think over 10 years ago. And there were houses still there that were sort of half buried in mud. And at that point it had, you know, plants had grown up around them. But that image really stuck with me. Um, and then when I was here in Omaha, I went up the street to the candy shop slash thrift store. Um, and they had in the back all these old movie posters. And one of them had this image of a, like a house in a flood. Um, and I found it and it kind of just made that enough of a connection where it was sort of this feeling of like, oh, that's that thing that I saw and now I need to build it. Like it, it wasn't such a eureka moment as much as it was just sort of like, oh, this is what I have to do now. <laughs>